everyone this is akash patel i am going to show you today that how can you integrate a font a custom font in ios 9 so here is a sample that you can see that by clicking on the different style that is reflecting a font related to it so let's get started just create a new project select a single view just name it font tutorial now uh, first of all we are going to add a segment control and a label and provide the four because we are going to integrate four different fonts here so there is a four segment just name the different segments whatever you want you can name it okay so we are done with it now just add a label Okay, just uh, provide outlets. Here I'm going to provide uh, action outlets with the label. Now you have to uh, you have to import the files which uh, font files which will be in a TTF or OTF format uh, you can use either of them uh, there is no problem with that you can download it from internet from any other site I'm not referencing any of the site because every site will download the every site will provide the TTF or OTF file I have already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it but just just, just to show you I have opened the browser so just import these four files which I have already downloaded so I'm going to drag it to my project okay copy it now to the plist file I'm going to import one another property for font that will be a font provided by an application okay it will automatically take an array and inside that array we are going to add items here we have four fonts so we are going to add four uh, items in that array so here we are now just copy this whole name with the format ttf or otf in the item string okay again I'm just copying it and paste it in a playlist file so there is not a big deal about that okay I'm done with it now uh, you have to you have to provide a target to the imported font files please don't forget it because until you don't target your uh, TTF or OTF file to your project it will not work in your project so please don't forget this is the most important part I am uh, this is the most important part to the project so here you can provide the target membership so our four font files are targeted to the, our project so now after it uh, here you can see that uh, the name LR underscore it dot TTF chunk file dot otf these are the names of the font files not the actually uh, name of the font we are going to use the font name not this file name so to get that font name 
we are going to write a code that for any string just name it family in you have found family names uh, this code will do the provide the all the family names which are available in the x code by default including our uh, custom fonts uh, this will pro provide the all family names so we are going to print it ns log and just uh, write down a family name and print the family okay this is the family name not the font name but we want the font name here so we are going to write uh, we are going to take another for loop for and a string font in ui font font for family names this will provide the fonts name uh, relative related to the family so we are going to print this also and just to distinguish uh, we will write uh, just a random symbol and here print the font okay we are done with the code uh, now to select the different styles uh, by user when the user clicks on the different style option in the segment control uh, to handle that we are going to take a switch case which will take a input as a segment dot selected segment index based on that it will provide the style sheet so self dot label dot font is equal to ui font font with name and size so we have not a name right now after printing this we will have a name but uh, for now i'm just going to write copy this snippet another three times because we have total four fonts here so this will be case 1 this will be case 2 and this will be case 3 okay now just we are going to run it uh, select an iphone 5 okay here we are so first just find out here okay here is the family name alert and this is the font name related to that family name so we are going to use this font name in our project this will give the actual style related to that font so don't forget don't use this family name use this font name this family is just here to uh, display that for from which family this font name is belong to now we are going to find the chunk 5 so just type chunk 5 you can see that the file name uh, otf and ttf are actually different from that font name so if you provide this file name here then it will not work in your project so never forget to never forget to write down the font name not the file name great wipes okay this is the font name for great wipes and last one this I see if we go there is a okay so now again run it so here is the default to label style if you select the different style sheet then it will provide you a different styles so for now it's the end of the video
thank you so much for watching if you have any query then please comment subscribe and like the video have a nice day